Arizona Lakes are used to welcoming thousands of visitors every year who come and enjoy all the recreation they have to offer. But a new visitor is creating quite a stir, and not in a good way. Aquatic invasive species have become a growing threat to Arizona's waters, Arizona's waterways, Arizona's fish and wildlife resources. So it's something that we've been quite concerned about for quite a number of years. And we're really trying to reach out to boaters and anglers and outdoors persons in general about the risks that these can pose to our wildlife resources. The latest aquatic invader to make its way here is the quagga mussel. It was discovered in Lake Mead in January of 2007, and although the tiny mollusks seem harmless, if left unchecked, they can cause substantial damage to our waterways. Quagga mussel and zebra mussel don't really get very big and wouldn't seem to be much of a threat. A full-grown quagga mussel or zebra mussel is not much bigger than my thumbnail. And yet, they're so prolific that within just a short period of time, there can be millions upon millions of them. These little mussels are encrusters. That means that they like to stick to things with a super glue thread on their shell. Quagga mussel and zebra mussel can encrust just about anything that's hard. That means your boat. That means your boat motor. That means the interior parts of your boat motor, like cooling lines that will help to protect your engine from overheating. They can also encrust docks, boat ramps, just about anything. That also includes hard surfaces like concrete and pipes, so they can clog water intakes, dams, and even canals. These mussels also pose a threat to wildlife resources because they are filter feeders, so they consume large portions of the microscopic plants and animals that form the base of the food chain in our lakes. It's unlikely that our lakes will collapse ecologically, but there will be changes, and they're not changes that we're looking forward to. Quagga mussel can compete with other kinds of wildlife for food resources. They can shift the nature of the algae that lives in these waters. All of that will have its impact on the food chain and on the kinds of fish that folks are used to and expect to be able to fish for. So far, the quagga mussel has not been found in our interior lakes, and the Arizona Game and Fish Department is asking boaters to help keep it that way by not accidentally giving these little hitchhikers a free ride from one body of water to another. Before leaving a lake or any other waterway, always do the following. Clean the hull of your boat. Drain the water from your boat. Dry off the exterior of your boat. Inspect all exposed surfaces. Remove all plant and animal material. After you leave the lake, give your boat a good bath. It's amazing all of the little places these tiny creatures can hide. Now what we did with scrubbing the boat down is basically if you've been in a waterway that has the quagga mussels, they can be on the surface and it just kind of sometimes it'll feel like sandpaper. But the main thing is anything that holds water on that boat or the trailer needs to be flushed out, cleaned out, and dried out best case scenario is for this boat to set out of the water for seven days and dry out. Well, if you're a fisherman like myself, that's a little bit long. If the fish are biting, you don't want to wait seven days. But take the time and wash your boat, drain it, and dry it out the best you can. Just for an example, we just got done washing this boat. I just wanted to show you how things hold water. There's water that's being held in low areas in the boat. Not only right here visible, but all throughout the boat. And you wanna make sure all that stuff dries. A lot of these boats with under deck storage have a lip sticking up to keep the, the dry boxes inside. But around these lips, hold water. That can stay wet. The carpet's gonna go down in there and the carpet's gonna keep it wet for a long time. If you hadn't washed it out, this is what you end up with. It's still wet when you go home. If you don't open that up, that edge around that box will stay wet for days. You go to the lake again, you get water in it or you wash it, it goes into your bilge. They're still alive and unless you get them drained out and flushed out, 
you could be transporting them onto another lake. You know, and that's what we're trying to prevent. We're trying to prevent transportation of the quagga mussels or the viagers into other waterways that don't have them right now. It's going to be a real tough fight, but if everybody tries to be a little diligent about washing their boats and paying attention to draining them out, I, I, you know, we're going to slow down the process anyway. The quagga mussel is likely to stay here, but with help from Arizona anglers and boaters, we can hope to control the spread of this and other invasive species that could harm our beautiful lakes and streams.